away from me and hi guys welcome to my youtube channel um it's my first ever video here on youtube um so cut me some slack it's not the greatest of the video but um yeah i received a lot of dms a lot of messages about um how i cleared the bar exam and follow me on instagram my instagram handle will be right at the bottom over here so if you guys want to watch my video please keep watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe first things first one and i'm going to put it up here in bold because it is important mindset mindset is so important when you get into the alley there's a lot of forces that are against you and i'll say this uh one, what you've heard about Zeli is already frightening, but also generally just being in the place and knowing that this is a place that fills so many people is also very scary. So what I recommend is please go there with a the mindset of I can do it. I went there with a the mindset of look, I'm clear, I can do this, and I will do this and I will achieve. So make sure your mindset is in check. Number two, let yourself a good support system so support system very very important um get yourself an out of the support system and an in the support system my out of the support system was my family and my fiance they were very very helpful um they really really outdid themselves during the alley so it's a few things that they did that really made the difference i come from a home where we do chores guys was 100% you cook you clean you do everything and they put me off of that so I had more time to read they gave me my space and with my fiance he was very understanding and he ensured that I was reading half the time and he would come see me regularly but just to make sure that I'm not losing my mind and yeah you need to ensure that you have a very very good support system so my daily support system I had a couple friends of mine who I who are going through the same thing as I am, who understood 100% what I was going through and they were so, so helpful and with me the entire time. And so because of this, I found it bearable, not easier, but bearable to get through the alley. Number three, which should have been number one, prayer. Pray, pray, pray. Um, I feel like it's the only place you can release how you feel entirely to someone who understands you completely um god was really the biggest support system for me he really held me down through the whole thing because there were times i thought i was gonna lose my mind but he always reassured me so pray 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 don't forget who it is that took you there who it is that gave you strength and who it is that will take you out of there and so that should be my number one number four is discipline because Without it, you can't do it. Um, so it's discipline in so many ways. Discipline with sleep, discipline with food, discipline with studying. It's so, so many things because if you don't sleep, you're always tired. And if you're always tired, you can't study. And if you can't study, it affects you in so many different ways. So you need to ensure that one, you are very disciplined with your books. Have a timetable, have a routine, create a routine because once you build that momentum from the get go, no one can stop you because you're moving at a pace. You're not running too fast, you're not running too slow, you're just on your own pace and you just keep going and you keep going and you keep going. And by the time you realize that you'll be at the end of the line and you'll be looking back and you'll be like, oh, we're done, you know? But you need to build that momentum for yourself, you need to build that system for yourself understand yourself so I, I can't say what works for me will work for you 100% but you need to understand yourself so for me what worked for me is I had a strict timetable strict I'd be like 8 to 10 8 to 12 so I knew between 7 30 and 12 I had to work 12 I get off 12 30 I'll get off work and by about 12 45 if I'm not past, like getting lunch somewhere I'll be at school um just so that you can break the cycle of constantly reading so i'll take maybe 10 15 minutes to chat with people then after thereafter i would maybe um read accounts because accounts is just it's numbers and you can't really get distracted as much so i'll do accounts over lunch 
and then getting to whatever course it is thereafter i would also have my after school timetable so i only took one um tuition class and that's because i actually thought i needed it and i did need it and it was very helpful for me and i'm not saying that you should take the exact same one but you need to be able to gauge yourself but i was disciplined enough to know that when i get off my tuition i need to get home take a nap and then get back into my books for another three hours then i'll see sleep is oh gosh so important but all i'm saying is to build a routine for yourself that works and be disciplined to follow it to the team. Number five, I think. Six, five. Consistency. Be consistent. Be consistent. One hundred percent consistent. So you need to ensure that you have built your system and you're consistent with following your system. If you have whatever it is that you do to catch a break, do it. But don't go overboard you know what i mean so just be consistent and allow yourself to enjoy the experience it's not a very pleasant one but it's one that you can enjoy and actually get through um uh positivity is very important avoid negativity i had a lot of people in my mj who would say to me ah even if i just past five i'll just be like away from me and up and like that's what it was i would just avoid them 100 percent also create create relationships with people who are looking at the same vision as you you can't be in the positive and everyone that you hung out with is in the negative you end up consuming that and um also uh the next thing is speak to your family and your friends um that you're going into this experience it actually does need you to cut off a few things in your life and change your lifestyle a lot. Um, very difficult to get out of even after, I won't lie to you. But I think it works because when you do get into practice, it's actually quite bad as well. And so um, you kind of carry on the same lifestyle, but you try to adjust it to ensure that at least the social lifestyle is also existent. Uh, but um, otherwise, it's very, very important that you um, speak to your family and friends and let them know that this is what you're doing so that they're not offended when you can't attend functions because you need to prepare for your mid years or your finals or you just need to study, period. I feel like these are very general uh, words of advice for anyone who's doing Ziali, but um, I'll do more personal ones because I've got another video where I talk about each and every individual course. So you guys should like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see those videos. Here, if you guys have any questions, feel free to follow me and DM me on Instagram and I should be able to respond. Um, if you can't, I'm going to put my Facebook information here as well. Not very good with my Facebook, but if you do send me a message in Messenger, I should be able to respond to you. Very active on Instagram, not very active on Facebook. So feel free to let me know what you guys think about the video. If you have any comments, you can put them in the comment section. Um, if you have any advice that you would like to give, you've gone through the alley already. Feel free to put that in the comment section. Um, if you guys feel like there's something else that you would like me to make a video on that would be helpful for you, please do suggest and I will definitely make a video for you guys. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching my video. Till the next one. Hasta la vista.